Hello everybody, it's me, FT Chubbs, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to breed every single element ethereal in the game. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we have the Ghast. And now, most people have this one, but if you don't, I'm going to show you the easiest way to breed it. So first of all, it would help if you had some torches lit, you don't have to. Um, and the way to breed it is to use Enbrat and t Rox. It could be any three element monster, but make sure you use t Rox because if you fail, it'll only take eight hours. Another tip is to make sure your monster is a high level, so at least level 10, because the higher level, the higher chance it has of breeding rare monsters. And before I move into the next monster, I just want to say the timestamps are down in the description. If so, if you want to skip ahead to the monster you want, go ahead. Okay, and now for Cold Island, it is the Grumpire. A lot of people might not know how to breed this, it's fine though, because I'm going to show you right now. So I'm not actually breeding it right now, but the way to breed it would be um, Deej and any Thrillium monster. So you can use Deej and Sponge, you can use Deej and Bogart, you can use Deej and Kongo. Any Thrillium monster combined with a Deej and you can breed it. Also again for this other, make sure your torches are lit and your monsters are high levels because that will boost the chance of you getting it. Okay, now for Air Island, it's the Weebro. This one's pretty cool, I like it. To breed it, all you need to do is use a Rift with any three element monster. So again, it could be Congo, T Rox, Pom Pom, who else am I missing? Scops, any one of them, and you have a ch chance of breeding the Weebro. Again, make sure it's high level and make sure that you have your torches lit. Now, for Water Island, it's the Geode, personally my favourite. Um, let me just show, this is this is a Geode. Um, to breed her, you have to uh, use Shell Beat, so this one. With any of the three monsters, so it could be Sponge, it could be Scops, it could be uh, Pummel. I'm personally using Shell Beat and Reedling, but you can use any. And once again, just make sure that your torches are lit and your monsters are high levels. Now for the final one, it's the Humbug. I really don't like this one, it doesn't sound good to me. But if you want to breed it to get it in your collection, what you want to do is you want to breed Chorister with any three element monster again. So it could be Clamble, it could be Reedling, it could be Pom Pom, any one of them. And you have a chance of getting it. Now I just want to point out, if you want to put an Ethereal onto Ethereal Island, it needs to be level 15 and it will be taken off the original island so make sure you have a spare one just in case but personally i think it's a really good way of getting shards so if you have the food and an extra ethereal do it i think that's it for this video guys though so if you did enjoy please make sure to like and subscribe also comment down below if you have any questions about the ethereals but yeah thanks for watching